Welcome in to Richie and Rob, brought to you by the great folks at Bet Parks. I am Rob Ellis, along with my guy. There he is, John Richie. John, how are you? Awesome, Bert. Life couldn't be better. I mean, <laughs> we just keep lining them up and knocking them down. Mm -hmm. That was the Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Chiefs, that we just uh, we knocked down last night. They, they On the road, good, off a we bye, <laughs> down 10 at the half. I mean... John, you, you know never to count them out, right? But yeah. if we're all being honest, that thing was not headed the direction we thought uh, in the first half. They were getting owned at the line of scrimmage, yeah. you know, really on both sides of the ball. Couldn't get much going at all. And then all of a sudden, man, they just kind of hung around and showed that that fortitude that they have. And the word resilient, you know, keeps come, popping to mind every single second here. Uh, nothing short of remarkable that win. I mean, it's one of those you, you're going to remember in the regular season for years to come. I think two stats speak to the difference between the first half and the second half. Uh, in the first half, the Chiefs ran for 120 yards against the best run defense in the NFL. Mm -hmm. They ran for 32 yards on us in the second half. In the first half, Jalen Hurts was sacked five times by those simulated pressures and zero blitzes and the unique stuff that Steve Spagnolo throws out there. They were able to, to figure it out in the second half, in part because uh, we just do that. We just figure things out. It, it seems like, man, we outcoached Andy Reid and company this time around. Mm -hmm. They had our number in the first half. They were running on us. They were doing what they wanted, and then they couldn't figure it out the second the, the second half out. Uh, we were the better team. We were the better coach team. I think that was a huge deal in the grand scheme of things that Nick Sirianni and Sean Desai, Brian Johnson, they really did a great job last night. Yeah, and, and John, the, the crazy thing is, you know, I think we all sort of – we're waiting for like some beauty contest, and we just have to understand that this is probably the way it's going to go this year with this team. You know, it, it's not always going to be right. gorgeous, but they're going to figure it out in the end, and they're going to be as playoff tested as any team when you consider this schedule. And so far, so good, John. The, the first two games, the Cowboys game and the Chiefs game, they hadn't beaten Dak Prescott. They handled Dak Prescott. They hadn't beaten Andy Reid. They handled Andy Reid. I mean, so far, so good. I think they're just uh... – they're just better. They're just better than what – look, it hasn't looked as neat and tidy mm -hmm. in the way they've won repeatedly week after week. But, man, this team this team's consistent, and they know how to win. They know they know how to get it done. That, that was not a pushover of a team very clearly, very obviously. It's the Kansas City Chiefs, man. Right. And that that's, that's Andy Reid. And – and we just out schemed that guy, uh, and and I, I, I don't think you can undersell that. <laughs> that's that's a huge deal. Andy Reid, who has begotten the the biggest coaching tree in the history of the NFL, uh, this is this is a great step. Think about this, John. All right, going into the game, Andy Reid was as as the Chiefs coach, sixty two and six when leading by ten points at the half, sixty two yeah. and six. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it, it's just it, it, you, the, the numbers are mind boggling. And you look at a team that, that comes up big in the clutch. Eagles have outscored their opponents in the last three games in the second half, 56 to 20, you know, and, and they've held the share. They've either they've either had the share or sole possession of the best record in football since week one of 2022. This is dominance. What we're seeing here. This is a dominant win. Yes, I know you want to win the championship to put the bow on it and the emphasis on it. But what they're doing. Week in and week out with Nick Sirianni and Jalen Hurts, et cetera, and crew is unbelievable. I agree. And I and it's and it's unfair to the excellence that this team is putting out there on the field that I and and we as Eagle fans aren't taking the time to smell the roses here. Yes. You know, I, I think I am also I'm looking forward and saying, I don't know if our blitz pickups quite where it needs to be to be the best in the world come yeah. February. Yep. So I have a problem with it. Meanwhile, no one's blitz pickup is where it needs to be right now because we're just partway through the season. It's okay. The team will continue to evolve and improve. And we are the best the NFL has to offer right now. And I expect that to continue all the way through to the, the, the end of the season. Have you been on teams that just had that winning DNA? Like that just had an ability 
whether it's staying calm and not blinking necessarily in the face of adversity or just knowing, hey, we're going to figure this thing out at some point. It seems to me that that's what this team is more than anything else. It's a DNA that, that's woven into them where they can just figure this thing out and just trust me, we'll get there, guys. Just relax. Yeah, I think I think when you have a, a quarterback who can get it done in every way imaginable, uh, you've always got options, and it does feel like we can – we can manage no matter what fate throws us on both sides of the ball. We've got the leaders. We've got the toughness that that we're just going to figure it out. Yeah, it, it's nothing short of remarkable. That's for sure. All right, John, fun as always, my friend. And let's keep the ride going. All right, let's keep it going. That's John Ritchie. I am Rob Ellis. We are Ritchie and Rob for Bet Parks. 